Hello. Hello. We are back in the green machine. Making videos once again. Hooray. Someone has uh, come round. But anyway. Carry on, crack on. Showing and inspiring young people to uh, get into the trade because this does have a massive shortfall let's just pull that down a little bit this does have a mash uh, a massive shortfall of I think I last read in the paper it's something like 1900,000 or something like that Uh, yes, whatever anyone can do to inspire new people to get into this job, it is all fun and games if you don't have problems, that is, but uh, it can be hard work, it can be easy work, it just depends what you like. be a job out there for everyone and that's all <coughs> these videos were ever meant for to inspire to teach to get young people new people people who didn't think about doing it into the world of uh, HGV driving because we need it, practically everything in shops, in your house, at some point, has come on a truck. Although you could equally say everything in your house has come in by boat, by plane, so... But, uh, yeah. Get pilots and boat people doing their things, there's plenty of documentaries on it. Why not individuals do it on YouTube? That is all I've ever done. That is all I ever will do. Show the pleasures, some of the difficulties of driving a truck and what we face against a seemingly oblivious car drivers. Uh, but uh, what can you do? Eh? Struggle and look out. Keep an eye on the mirrors. That's all you can do. Uh, yes, where are we going today? Where are we going? Yes. Should have been going to Bath, waiting around a bit and then going to Acton. But yes, third day in a row. We've had it changed to <coughs> to uh, Wellington, which is fine, it keeps me up it's all day, crunching the miles, I think it's just over 300 miles, which is lovely, anything less than 200 miles is not a day's work really. Like you've gone the wrong way because you're going around a housing estate 
with some fairly smallish roads, as you can see. And as always, give a nice introduction on a motorway, on a main road, because that's where most of our routes take us, anyway. So nothing I can do about that, really, unless you want me to just start it two minutes from where it is. It does allow you to fit more stuff in. There you go. So just an unusual drop this is, you know, so you uh, drive around a housing estate, uh, squeeze into I don't know what you'd call it, a staging area or something like that, get a little area built just for you to get ready to start reversing up to the bay, except it's not really a bay, it's just a shutter door, and then you reverse into the building. So once your truck's nearly in the entire building, and you stop, and you unload there, on the old tail lift. Do you drop, drive off, stop it, uh, where is it? Tiverton? Taunton Dean? Taunton uh, Dean, I think. Taunton Dean Services, yeah, that sounds about right. Stop there, have our break. Then crack on back to base. That's the job done. So here we are. Just going under the M25. No, not M25, M5 even. On our way in. Uh, to Wellington. So, fairly easy, up this main road. to the housing estate and round some small corners and between some cars here as you can see. Oh lovely and squeezy. But not too bad. More room than Hazelmere Road, and anyway, I put that like that. And he's flashed me through. If it's your first time ever coming here, 
you're a bit like, have I gone the right way? No one coming, let's take the wrong side of the road. And round it goes nicely. Lots of driving on the wrong side of the road here. Unless you're from America or the rest of Europe. In which case I've taken to the correct side of the road, of course. Sylvan Road, so my one should be somewhere here. What's it called? Scott's Lane. So this should be its train statement. And all that lot. change from as soon as you enter to when you get to where you're going. Small and tight all the way. Driving down, take to the wrong side of the road, this one you have to go around that wrong side of the road for a long way so nobody's coming. Right round the outside. Check we're not too close to the curb and that foot clear of the curb on the other side. And get over to the right hand turn here. And then it goes. We're here. I just hope that the shutter door is open. So I did tell them that I'd be here at this time, I am. Is it? No. Well, that's why we've got a reverse in the And someone's put a van there. Nice. Should be able to work with that then. Trail it over as far as I can and then bring the front sharply over to the left. There, yeah, that should be lining up it's fairly well enough for the door anyway. Uh, I'll go get someone to open the door and then we can back in. Sun's a bit bright. Doesn't help to see the mirrors too well. Someone will appear at the back to stop. Tell me when it stops. 
Oh, there he is. There we go. About two thirds into the building, you never get quite in there, you're supposed to reverse the anything. But you never seem to get all the way in. But there we go. Let's get out of here. Because it's five to eight. And there's a curfew on this shop at eight, so we need to be off this housing estate fairly sharpishly but it's difficult to go quickly when you've got all these tight bends pushing it a bit with our timings but when you get here an hour late that's what you end up doing and parking like that doesn't help I've got to get a move on As you can see, if you're a car driver as well as a, a learner, HGV driver, you have to go quite wide on some of these corners to fit round and fit through the gaps. do on that one. Now I've got three minutes to make it the last hundred yards.
and there we go we're away two minutes to spare